Hello everyone, myself Asutha Sadeya and in this video we are going to learn about CPU. The full form of CPU is Central Processing Unit. The CPU is responsible for interpreting and executing most of the commands from computer's hardware and software. CPU is made of chip. A CPU chip is very small electronic device that contains an integrated circuit. The CPU chip or central processing chips are the semiconductor component where most calculations take place. The CPU attaches directly to a CPU socket on the motherboard and CPU is inter inserted into the socket pin side down and a small la lever. Small lever helps to, to secure the processor. There are three parts of CPU. The first is arithmetic logical unit. Second is control unit and third is memory unit. Memory unit. First one is arithmetic logical unit. There is an electronic circuit in arithmetic logic unit which executes all arithmetic and logical operations. The unit can compare numbers, letters and special characters. There can be more than one ALU in your CPU. ALU can also be used for the purpose of maintaining timers to help run the computer. The next one is control unit. There is a circuitry in control unit which uses electronic signals to instruct the whole computer system for carrying and executing already stored program instructions. Its name clearly shows that it controls and coordinates computer components. It regulates the flow of information through processor. And in short, it can be said this component receives, decodes, stores, results and manage execution of data that flows through the CPU. The next unit is memory unit. Memory unit is made of registers. Registers are temporary storage areas which are responsible for holding the data that is to be processed. They store the instruction and data in a processor. This data is further used by control unit. There are some registers that are set aside for specific tasks this generally includes program counter, stacks, and flex. Now we will see the performance criteria of your CP. These are the these are the criteria by which you can measure performance of your CP. The first one is clock speed. Second is number of transistor in your CP. Next is registers, external data bus, address bus, internal cache, and we are going to see some other components which decides the performance of your CPU. The first one is clock speed. Clock generator generates the clock signal. The speed of the computer is used as a means of measuring how well it operates. All other things being equal, a faster clock means faster execution and better performance. That means if you have all the other components of your processor are same, then if you have one CPU with faster clock than other, then it means that the faster the CPU with faster clock is more faster in execution and in better performance. The maximum number of clock cycles are measured in hertz. Nowadays, processors are in the range of gigahertz. From you can say 1 gigahertz to five, around 5 gigahertz. The higher the speed, the quicker the command will be executed. The next is number of transistors. More transistors means more switches. And more switches means more computing power. That means computer can process more complex things. The next is registers. Register size is measured in bits. The larger the registers, more complicated the commands that can be processed in one step. The next is external data bus. A data bus size increases, so does the amount and the complexity of code. Or you can say information that can be transferred among all devices in the computer. The next is address bus. The size, the size of the address bus determines the maximum amount of memory that can be addressed by CPU. And last one is internal cache. The internal cache is high speed memory built into the processor. There is a place to store frequently used data instead of sending it to slower, slower devices such as RAM and hard disk. When I say smaller devices, I mean in relative term. The cache memory is faster than RAM and hard disk. The parts of data are transferred from disk to cache memory 
by operating system from where CPU can access them at very fast speed than regular storage medium that is RAM and hard disk because cache memory is faster than RAM and RAM is faster than hard disk. Now we have seen basic criteria of your processor by which you can measure performance of your processor. Now we are going to learn other criteria of by which you can measure the performance of your processor. So let me say first that there are several manufacturers of processors like Intel, AMD, ARM, Qualcomm, MediaTek. There are different types of architecture used by those companies. Intel uses its own architecture. AMD uses its own architecture. The latest one is Ryzen architecture. Or you can say Zen architecture and processor model name are Ryzen. And Qualcomm uses the ARM art architecture to build their processors. There are two types of processors. 32 bit or 64, 64 bits in recent times. The next performance criteria are number of cores. The higher the number of cores, more commands can processor perform at one time. And higher the number of threads, the more tasks simultaneously can processor perform. We have already seen clock speed. Now there are some functionalities in Intel and AMD processors where you can increase the speed of your processor by overclocking it. Intel give them name called Turbo Boost. By using this Turbo Boost functionality, you can increase processor's base clock frequency to overclocking frequency in vast amount. For example, one processor has 1.1 GHz base clock frequency. You can increase that processor's frequency to 4.4 GHz from 1.1 GHz. And another component is L3 cache. There are several types of L3 cache memory available in different processors. The recent processor has 4 MB, 6 MB, 8 MB and 12 MB cache memories. And many companies bundle their processors with integrated graphics like Intel does that. Intel has different types of integrated graphics called Intel HD, UHD, Iris, Iris Plus and Iris Pro range. Now let's see some important questions from the video. The first one is list out different parts of CPU. Explain arithmetic logic unit. Third is explain memory unit. Fourth, explain control unit. Next is list out performance criteria of your processor. Explain data bus and address bus. Thank you for watching the video.